Hey guys, in this video I'm going to do a quick gaming test of the Samsung Galaxy A5. So I will be doing a gaming test of the Samsung Galaxy A3 here. Check out my channel for that. So I'm going to test out some of the uh, best games or you can say some games that are enough to test out the processor power, processor power to uh, you know 3D processing power uh, to test out that. So uh, these games can do that, be fine. So we have the Asphalt 8 and some GT games to test out. Um, let's quickly enable the Wi-Fi connection for the Asphalt 8 because I am launching this for the first time. So definitely going to check out all the Play Store settings and all that. It will take some time. So, okay, checking the quiet files. This is a 5-inch screen. Uh, 720p HD, which is um, a little bit bigger than the 4.5 inch screen of the A3, so definitely more pixels there to uh, work with. Okay, let's play a game track here. No, I don't want to. Start the race. So Asphalt 8 is a free game and it is absolutely gorgeous in terms of graphics and it is a good game to test out uh, the 3D performance of your Android device or iOS. Let's see how this performs here on the A5. So I think that the graphics are maybe a little bit down clocked, maybe, but if not then this is performing pretty well and uh, as compared to the Galaxy A3 this is a little bit better and feels a little bit more good because this is bigger screen. So Snapdragon 410 is a 64 bit based quad core 1.2 GHz processor. Adreno 306 is a GPU inside, uh, which is a mid ranger the GPU, by the way. So I really do like the square shape of this phone. It's really awesome. Oops. Try to jump on this one here. So we do have the boost to go more faster. So let's test another game here. Uh, let's close everything in the background. So let's test out another game, which we're going to be GTA What's the Day, uh, another popular game that was available for uh, consoles. It's all available for Android and iOS. Uh, not sure about Windows. I think it's not available for Windows. But let's see. Okay, I don't have any save games at the moment. So, uh, GTA games have not been optimized for Snapdragon 4 and processors. Uh, let's see how this one will perform. So, Galaxy A3 was a failure in terms of GTA games. Let's see. Okay, legendary dialogues there. Okay, um, definitely playable, but still the frame rate drops extremely when you are in a crowded place, like you can see right now. So, oh, it's so horrible. It's very horrible. So you can see when there is not that much going on, it feels smooth. As soon as I go outside, it becomes laggy, so Rockstar hasn't optimized this game. Definitely Snapdragon 410 has uh, 
good potential to run this game at good FPS. Let's kill this buddy here. I think he's dead. Let's kill this one. Let's kill this bitch. Okay, let's kill the cop. Oh my god, it's so horrible experience there. Oh my god, so this test out FIFA 15, so I need to connect to my Wi-Fi connection in order to play this cool game. FIFA 15 is the game, baby. So I'm personally a fan of FIFA game. I do play a lot of FIFA on my PC, FIFA 15. I play online, and then also I also play Ultimate Team. So uh, it's really good to have FIFA 15 on uh, phones. Feels good. Connecting to the server. Let's see. Uh, we also do have a lot of problems in uh, connecting to the server. It all depends on your Wi-Fi connection. Let's see. This is also free to download from Play Store. Absolutely free, no problem whatsoever. But it's not like the FIFA 14, like we don't have the manager mode access. This is completely ultimate base team. Let's switch the Wi-Fi connection here to a more stronger one because I hate when the games requires Wi-Fi connection to go forward but let's see let's launch this game again FIFA 15 Ultimate Team Okay, that was pretty pretty quick there. Just want to lower down the volume there. So this game is completely based on the ultimate team. You basically earn coins to buy more players and uh, have good fun. see so uh, we have two types of controls touch controls and the um, basic controls so I like the basic controls more so uh, I will playing with those controls so uh, if we talk about the uh, FIFA 15 specifically uh, it is really fun to play this game on bigger screens to be honest that's why I like playing it on the uh, Galaxy A5 more than the A3 so I have now the free gig okay oops oh what a goal what a goal okay so these are some random players because because this is an ultimate team. So I'm playing against Atletico Madrid. And uh, so, of course, uh, you can press and uh, hold this button to tackle and sprint at the same time. It's pretty easy. Uh, this game is working pretty fine here. You can see no problem whatsoever. However, I can feel that the device is getting a little bit warmer on the top side. But that's natural. Oh, what a goal. What a goal that was. Really awesome stuff there. 
let's score one more goal okay let's try another game on board so uh, so far the gaming performance is uh, good but GD games are not good so uh, GD games are actually the must-have game for Android that's why I always test it out so let's try to test out the uh, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas um, here which will be the final game to test out its performance gaming performance so you can see pretty loud speaker there but I've seen more louder speaker than this one my Nexus 9 is the beast so I've done some custom ROM stuff for the Nexus 9 if you are interested you can check that out okay oh my god it is exactly the same experience that I got with the Grand Prime and the A3 it is unplayable yes people this is unplayable this is really not playable this is oops what the fuck was that nigga so uh... GD games are extremely unplayable on uh, Snapdragon 14 devices but Asphalt 8 and some other games are optimized I haven't tried the Re real racing 3 I remember I tried on the Galaxy Grand Prime that was working fine uh, but still, this is not uh, the best gaming device you can get, but still to give you good looks and a good software, but not a good gaming. For gamers, I would not recommend this to buy. Maybe more optimization will come, but still. Uh, anyways, these are some of my games that I want to test out uh, on this device to test out its 3D performance and all that. If you enjoyed, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, share, and I will see you next one. Peace out.